This is a classic blues artist, but I haven't had the chance to listen to him properly before. I am aware of who he is, but I don't think I've actually sat down and ever listened to his music. So it's Muddy Waters and Long Distance Call. The blues, it just instantly gets you, right? You say you love me, baby. Mm. Yeah. Please call me <laughs> on the phone. Yes. You say you love me, baby. Love me, I love that. Please call me on the phone <laughs> It's amazing how one note you're just like, oh, that tone. And everyone has their own unique tone and then some people's tone. It isn't universal, it's really funny because sometimes some people's tones, people be like, I hate that. It really doesn't connect to me. And for me, well, this voice is amazing. <laughs> it's connecting to me, so I don't know. I'm sure the people watching this will agree with me, otherwise you won't have clicked on this video. But I love that um, that feeling that it's he's got the perfect balance for me of the warmth of this kind of really warm baritone sound and then that twang and bite to it so you're like oh it just hits hard <laughs> shouldn't work like if I was like if I hear your voice yeah it just is like it's so random it feels really random but it sounds so cool in his voice it would sound so weird it would sound so like what's she doing in her voice because it's so messy and natural and fluid and it just comes from his natural way of expressing and his natural emotions and if it doesn't come from that it sounds strange and put on so it, that isn't how I would express myself so it would sound so bizarre um I think that that's something that we can all learn to take the weirdness in ourselves those weird things and use them use them sing them sing like that So this is a happy song up to this point. Doesn't end up happy. his guitar playing. I'm gonna buy you a brand new Cadillac. If you only speak some good words about me. He is so excellent at vowels. So he's really opening up those vowels, lowering his larynx to make a really deep, warm sound. So he's doing some of those days. So Sam, almost like the name Sam or love. It's like an uh sound instead of, I don't know, everyone pronounces love differently, but uh, for a Scottish accent. Um, one of these days, he just moves and gets to that really open place in his vowel. He also is really cool at, he's doing all these little riffs and runs, but he's leaving them really, really late. So, no, it's like right at the end of the note. And um, I always think of it as like being on a roller coaster. You want to elongate that point, right? You get to the top of the the top of the roller coaster and you want to elongate that point before you fall off the end. So he's like, ooh, 
and holds that suspense and then there goes there goes your amazing run there goes that interesting new hunt it's it's the teasers these constant little teasers that make you be like ooh yeah <laughs> Oh, I like that. Like oh, let's talk about that now. Here's the ringing. Ding, ding, ding. No, you hear my phone. Oh no. The party said another mule is kicking in your stall. Okay, I love how he is has incorporated the phone rings in with the percussion and with the harmonica so that you you're like, oh, you're really involved in the storytelling of of this and now he's kind of found out that this lady that he's been with is cheating on him, which is not very nice. Um now, interestingly with his vocals, he's doing this ooh, like a little side mouth thing. Um I people often think that that's a technique and it is uh, it, it can be in that like it that could be the most natural way to shape your mouth however I know because I'm someone who often sings at the corner of their mouth it's uh, often just that you might have a bit of <laughs> uneven musculature around so uh, I'm very good at this on one side and then the other side uh -uh, not at all so I mean you can train that but it doesn't make it my singing any better or worse to have it a little uneven um, and it will be the same for him. It's just his natural way of singing. Having that narrower shape sometimes makes a more direct sound, but being out of the one side, we're all a little bit wonky as humans. Our anatomy's all a little bit wonky, and uh, it's probably that. <laughs> or an uneven jaw. I've definitely got that. Now, this is the old adage of um, it's not how many notes you play, it's where you place the notes. And I think especially with his vocals, you have this super well-placed voice. It's not showing off. He's got, he can do these runs, he's doing it within, but he's not overdoing it. It's about placing it within the song so that everything makes sense. His guitar playing is actually, to me, edging on that rock and roll like he's adding a few extra notes in there it's not it's in between that kind of blues and rock and roll sort of time where he's like just giving us a little bit extra with his guitar which is kind of fun as the emotion hypes up as well which makes total sense as well The slides are so bluesy. Like this is bluesy. So what makes something sound bluesy? Most of the time, there's a blues scale. 
There, there are specific scales that are used in blues music and they have a very specific sound, which is this. And as well as that, these slides that's in the singing. I'm going da, da, da. Instead of I'm going to be and hitting that note dead on, it would sound strange within this style. Um, it's all about the slides, the ooziness and the naturalness, just letting things happen, kind of that improv sort of style as well. Yeah, my phone keep ringing. Insertion, a growl. So that's your false vocal pulse coming out. I love how he's building the suspense into this call as well. <laughs> People the morning I went home, the whole neighborhood was standing down, grinning at me, laughing, saying another me. Oh. After a while I went back home, put my hands in my pocket and got my key out and unlocked that door. And there stand my wife, she was crying. She said another me. The little girl was jumping up in the floor. She was patting her hands together. She was batting her eyes. She was looking straight at me. She was saying, saying, Mighty Water, it's another mule is kicking in your stall. Interesting. And I loved how he cut everything out and just went into this place. He allowed the mule to be like he was going a little like he was on the edge of that emotion you know you're going a bit crazy with your emotions and you're making all these crazy noises and um you know it, it just shows um what people are like when they're in a highly emotional state you're just like ah, and you just make all these crazy noises and feeling so absolutely astounded that you've been put in that situation and this is this amazing musical way of showing that within a musical structure hmm. great thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please do like and subscribe if you have any suggestions for other reactions you can text me i've put a little number down in the description or you can send an email to requests at bethroars.com i am collating them all so i can see what you guys want me to react to and i will see you in the next one bye